All right, time now to get our alternative rugby commentator for the week. Uh, we'll get to him. There was increasing pressure, of course, on the All Black coaching panel to name a full-strength side to play Japan tonight. The omission of Israel Dag in the number 15 jersey has riled some of the Kiwi public. To help flesh this out, I'm joined by Jed Thang. Good morning, Jed. Hey, it's a very good, very good word, choice of words, Petra. Hey, very I'll, fleshy issue. We aim to please, sir. I've got my pink folder full of questions, uh, hard oh, rugby well, questions away, for you. Um, what do you think of the selection? Uh, they, they're not injured. We know they're not injured. Come on. Common sense prevails here, surely. Okay, the for Japs the... have scaled down themselves. We've scaled down ourselves because what's happened is Canada have come to the fore with a win over Tonga. It's, I... complained, it's just completely changed the complexion of the group. It's very awesome. It's very exciting that they, that they oh, did that win. That was amazing. I never picked it. I didn't pick it. I thought the, I thought the Tongas were home for all money. And then all of a sudden, Canada. Canada. Oh, Canada! <laughs> You're not alone in your excitement. Uh, they're taking on Wales soon, is that correct? And there's hope that they can beat them as well. Well, Wales have, uh, Wales have got one hurdle in front of them this Sunday, and that is uh, Samoa. Oh, Samoa. And uh, as we all know, how Pacific Islanders feel about Wales when they wash up. We get stuck <laughs> into them. It's out with the chain stores, a couple of quick prayers, and then bang, they're on the barbie. OK, awesome. Now, uh, not that I condone whale-eating, of course. Uh, any particular gaff of the week stand out for you? Because there have been a few cute ones. Oh, there's been, <laughs> there's been some screamers, all right. Uh, I think some of the action last night. I mean, why on earth would you try and roll up a Russian Ford pack? As if one of them wasn't hard enough. Next thing you know, the Americans have taken on all eight of them, and it's ended with the Russian boy giving it the old, you know, don't mess with me, man. I I'm a psycho. <laughs> I thought he was sort of saying, I think that you're mental, but you're right, he could have been saying, I'm a psycho. Uh, what about the streaker? We've had our second streaker of the tournament. The first one only got five, $500, but the uh, Canada versus Tonga game in Whangarei, this is what went down, literally. They've got to come from behind now. <laughs> uh, obvious hold up here. I have to say the white guys are easier to see on the pitch and I heard that he did a leap from somebody who was out on the ground. He leapt for the try line. When you get the open space like that, everybody knows. The head goes back and you spread the toes and you just go for the line, you go for the dock. <laughs> and if you can get yourself a nice landing, they're very difficult to score a comfortable landing if you're going to be nude. Oh, I hear that he did have um, a part of an elephant um, covering his private parts. Oh, well, I'll leave it to your imagination. I mean, you know, yeah, that's, that's responsible. Oh, also, David Pearson, the ref uh, in that game last night, Russia versus America, he um, gave Todd Cleaver a little bit of a serve. Had a suggestion for him. Is that right? Yeah. I can't imagine that would be the case. Referees are so usually well mannered on the pitch. Have you got some vision there? Oh, we did have some vision. Uh, shall we try that again? Here, I see. Oh, oh, oh it's me. Now pop off. Yeah, good body Pearson's position. down. First referee tumble of oh, rugby world he's cup taking a tumble. And you're getting my washing bill. There you go. <laughs> oh, that's a lovely piece of refereeing as well, because he just told Todd Clever talk to that he's getting a laundry talk bill. He was the man that actually pushed him out of the way. You talk to him? Oh, there is Clever. Time on. Offside. Yeah, it's Burns and well, Clever who go like at that, it. So there we go. Well, we've got one of the Asian teams, because the laundry there would have been done quickly. Uh, <laughs> you're a bad man. Oh, but stop I, it. Uh, but I like you. Hey, uh, and, and uh, something that can't go uh, without your notice, sir, there's a new sculpture that's been installed in oh, the Ultra yeah. Cannon Dunedin. It's called the Haka Peep Show. It is, I believe, a, a, a rather large model of a Rexona... Uh, what do you call those? Roll-on deodorant... What do you call those things? Well, I don't know. I hardly ever use this stuff myself. Yes. Yeah. Roll-on deodorant stick. There it is. There it is, there's the shots. Oh, it's yeah. called the Hacker oh, Peep Show. Yeah, you can yes. look in the windows yeah. and, yeah, uh, yeah. watch yeah, well, a Hacker. What do you think? What, it, it captures that game between New Zealand and France quite nicely, doesn't it? <laughs> when you think of it, you see black and then cock and you're just missing the rooster. You see, I couldn't have put I it more eloquent. Wrong? No, no, I couldn't have put it more eloquently <laughs> myself. What game are you most looking forward to? Obviously, that Samoa matchup must be. Um... Oh, yes, the Manu Samoa versus Wales. It's a very, very, very big game of rugby union. I know that the uh, South Africans are watching out for Fiji, and as you would be, because they're so random, the Fijians. Uh, and tonight, it's uh, going to be great fun when the All Blacks play Japan. Stephen Bishop joining me tonight for the alternative rugby commentary. Bobby Skinstad last night uh, for Russia versus the United States of America. So we're getting down to business here in Wellington.
But for Corin, who is a little bit concerned about those players pulled out for injuries, you're saying nothing to fear. Oh, look, just tell Corin that they're injured, that they, you know, calf strains, they take weeks to come back from. Just feed them all the usual stuff. The reality is, the boys have gone down the spa. Excellent. They certainly weren't <laughs> waving from their hotel room.